was important for for our team to be able to come here and scream into the stadium. And I thought it was important for the game administration part of it, of you know, using the press box, uh, ha having people call plays from the press box, uh, using our press box organization and all those types of things that if we'd have practiced indoors, we'd have never been able to do it. Um, it really wasn't that bad out there. We probably had about a 40-minute break. Uh, but I really thought we had some tempo, you know, especially early on on offense. I thought we ran the ball really effectively. I thought both quarterbacks did a good job. And I think it would be unfair uh, to either player to really evaluate any kind of passing statistics based on today. I, first of all, you almost have to include the drops Right, because there were a few drops because of the conditions. And, you know, I just don't think it would be fair based on those conditions to try to make some kind of statistical assessment. So, you know, that's not the most important thing, you know, to us. I think we have a lot of things that we did very well out there today. Um, you know, I thought all three of our backs, you know, played really well. Um, receivers made plays. You know, defensively, you know, we have a long way to go. I think we missed a lot of tackles. Uh, we have a lot of young players that are getting a lot of opportunities because of the players that we have out. You know, we have a lot of defensive players that are out that if you added them up into two deep, you know, that's quite a few guys. Well, the good part about that is, is, you know, some of the freshman players who may be able to help us are getting lots of turns, lots of reps. Uh, they also goes to the territory that they make a few more mistakes. But that's the best learning opportunities that they have, right? That when they make a mistake, they sort of get an opportunity to learn more, grow more, and maybe improve as a player more quickly. Now, I was really pleased with the, with the kicking game part of it today. Um, you know, punter punted well. And, um, you know, I think Griff was five out of six or six out of seven or something like that. Four out of five, and the one he missed, he really didn't have his holder in there. It was right when the storm was coming, and you know we tried to get, you know, finish the drive with the field goal, and uh, he ended up kicking with the twos. But uh, I thought he did a good job. He did a good job kicking off. Um, AJ Scott was, you know, pretty effective. So, you know, I'm a, obviously when we watch this film. There's a lot of things that we need to improve on. We have a long way to go uh, in terms of developing a team. Uh, and, you know, the players have to understand why good teams win. And they've got to be willing to do the things to develop the habits um, that are going to make them successful on a consistent basis. And you know, that's what we're going to continue to try to work on over this next week. Throughout the, throughout the fall, I and mean, just kind of preparing the defense for, for another season full of uh, up tempo offense, have you, have you changed what, what you simulate in practice? Is it, is it hard to get them real? Well, we do it in practice every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, we usually do it good on good. We actually scrimmaged a segment of it today. Um, I don't know, it was probably eight or ten plays. Um, so, you know, it is hard to simulate when you're not in the auto team. I, but our our team is capable of being in the model team, so we, we, we practice that against each other, and it's the best way that we can get the best look. So we have practiced it more, um, but you know, in all honesty, guys, you know, you, you all make way too much of this. I mean, the last game, the team had 21 points against us with 30 seconds to go in the game. And I don't think anybody held them to 21 points all year long. And I saw them score 60 in the SEC championship game or whatever. Um, you know, we shut all this out here. You know, we had four turnovers against Oklahoma that led to 28 points. Two of them, the defense never even got back on the field. So there were 14 points they didn't show up for. They run kickoff back for a touchdown, recover fumble for a touchdown and gave the ball another time on the 13-yard line. So, you know, when you're looking at it deeply relative to how the other teams do, 
Do we need to play better or do we play as well against those teams as maybe some other teams? I guess you could make a case for that. Uh, but I do think that it's much more difficult for defensive players to sustain their intensity throughout the game when they're playing that many plays. So it becomes a team thing. How about keeping the ball away from them? How about controlling the ball on offense so they don't have the ball so much? So that's something that we did in the a &M game. We had played very well on defense in that game, in my opinion. We had played very well on defense in the Oklahoma game. Uh, so, but, I mean, we make it out like we're like horrible when we play a team. That we played seven no huddle teams last year. And, you know, we didn't play as well as we should have in a couple of those games. But I also think that it takes the defensive coaches out of the game. We do a good job of scheming people when we play them. We do a good job of telling our players how they need to play things and how to stop what they do. And when you play a no huddle team, you can't do as good a job of that. You can't do as good a job of that. They don't recognize it as fast. I, and I don't care how you practice it, it's going to be difficult unless you're a no huddle team yourself. And that has an downside because how do you coach the players? You can't coach them between plays because everything's about how fast you go. So, you know, we're going to improve on it. We're practicing it better. We need to improve on it. But I think we need to improve on defense, period. I think we need to improve in coverage. I think we need to improve in mental errors. I think we need to improve on how we strike people up front. I think we've missed too many tackles today, so we've got to tackle a whole lot better. And, you know, we can't give up big plays. And we've got to be able to press the quarterback better. So I think if we can do all those things better, we'll probably play against everybody better.